Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And this is our little game baby that we, <laughs> that we brought along with us. Uh, so if you've seen us before and checked out our videos and subscribed to our channel, which we are very grateful for, thank you very much, Mom. Thank you. Um, <laughs> then you know that we review and score uh, different movies, um, be considered nerd movies, whatnot. Uh, we do the Marvel Cinematic Universe right now. That's what we've been scoring. Um, but we're, we're doing something a little different right now. We're reviewing a, a, a game, because we also love to play games together. Yeah, so this game, we actually came across uh, the sister game to this one, mm -hmm. which is a hero version, uh, when we went to Ken's brother's Mike's house for Thanksgiving one year. Um, he had the hero game, and we all sat around their table playing this for, God, a couple hours. I mean, it was, yeah. it was a ton of fun, and it's a card game. Um, so, of course... We couldn't go out and buy the same game. We couldn't get the hero version. No. But what's so much cooler than being a hero? Being a villain. That's Boom. what's cooler. Yeah, so uh, we ended up getting this, and what I love about this game is that you can play it with just two people, or you can play it with more people. Like, you can play it with four or five, if you can find people that are just as big a dorks as you are. Um, or you can play it, actually, you can play it by yourself, too, which is kind of cool, which you can't really do with a lot of uh, board games and, and whatnot. So... We're always looking for different games that we can we can play together, especially like a Marvel games. I mean, uh, some of the video games have been letting us down, so we've been we've been doing this. Yeah, there aren't enough good co-op split screen games out yeah. there. Co so couch co-op though. Couch. Like, yeah. We, we want to be in the same room. We don't want to be like I don't want to be in the bedroom and have her on like you know the living room and like we're playing different. I thought I covered that in split screen. Do I not know the lingo? I don't think I know the lingo. Yeah, no, no, split screen. Yeah, split screen works too, but I mean, it's like, I don't know. Okay, couch co-op slash... I think couch co-op, yeah. <laughs> that sounds cooler. I'll give it you does, that. It sounds it cooler. It sounds cooler, I guess. I was really proud of myself for getting the lingo. So, uh, the way that this game works is that you have a, a board, um, just like most board games, and you have cards, and there's cards that you play with, and there's cards you play against, and there's uh, things called schemes, which is basically the uh, the rules of the game like there's overall rules and then like individual rules for each game when you're the villain team your characters that you get to play with are in the lair and then the heroes are in various parts of the city being like the bridge the bank uh, the rooftop so yes you have to play against those characters that are in the city but they're all being sort of controlled by the mastermind um, so your ultimate goal is to defeat the mastermind but as with every good hero villain scenario, sometimes you have to go through the littler guys to get to the big guys. Yeah. So basically in this card game, as you go through, you get attacking points and recruiting points. So when you go through and you've done all the attacking that you can, then you recruit whoever in the, in the lair is a character that you want to add to your hand that will give you either more attacking or recruiting that you feel you need at that time and that you have enough points to purchase. And the masterminds in this one are Professor X, Odin, Doctor Strange, and Nick Fury. Um, so there's a lot of cool villains in this game too. Uh, a lot of the villains that you that you know Loki. and love. Loki. She loves Loki. I love to play with Loki. Yeah, yeah. It's one of her, it's one of her favorite characters. And the Enchantress. Yeah. She's really good. My two favorites are probably Kingpin and Bullseye in this game. Um, I just think that they just work really well together and I like their, their I, like, I like their effects. And you get to play as a team also. Mm -hmm. But there's also kind of a competition aspect to it where yeah. like if you kill the most, you know, I guess good guys in this case, then you get points and you know at the end of the game you can have bragging rights. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so for this, we put a link down below if you want to go ahead and grab it. But would you, could, you like me to Vanna White the Yeah, little, could you Vanna White that thing? I will thing? Vanna White the uh, All right, she's going she's to Vanna White, White the game baby. So you can go ahead and uh, click on the link down in the description below this video. But the, I will say that this game is a little bit more expensive than its sister game. So the hero game version is, is cheaper. Um, and so you might, might want to start off with that one uh, if you want to. Um, this The reason that this one's more expensive I guess it's because it's out of print a little bit, and so there's not as many in there's not as many copies of this game, which makes it more rare. Uh, now they said that they're going to print more upper deck said it was going to print more, but if the demand's not there, then they won't print more, and then but if the demand's not there, then the price keeps going up, and so it's kind of a, it's a catch twenty two. It's a double edged sword there. I think we got a collector's item. Yeah, we do have a collector's item. So if you want like collector's items, I would go ahead and I would grab this uh, while you can. Um, and check it out, yeah, because, like I said, it's, it's, it's a game that we really love and we wanted to share with people, and, uh, yeah. 
Especially since we're going into winter and you want to stay in for a night instead of going out to the bars, this is a really great option. Yeah. So we also, since one of our things is we, we score different uh, different movies, we use our scoring system to rank it, we're going to rank the different uh, legendary uh, box sets because there's about, you know, I think, I don't know, 15 or 20 expansion sets for this one right now. There's two base sets. There's the villains and then there's the heroes. But then there's a bunch of different expansion sets. So for the villains... We gave it a score of 17.8, all right? What does that score mean? I don't really know, um, you know. We'll... As with the first Iron Man film, when it's the first thing that you rank, you don't know how it compares yet, so. Yeah, you don't need, just... you don't need to Van White this thing anymore. Not this looks, this looks awkward. Okay. Yeah. I was okay with it. It wasn't that uncomfortable. <laughs> no. um, but as when we ranked the first Iron Man movie, it was the first movie that we had ranked, so we had no idea how the score would stack up. We knew we really liked Iron Man, mm -hmm. but, I mean, who knew how it would fall in the rankings? Same thing with this. I mean, it's our first go-around, so 17.8 doesn't sound like a terribly high number, but then again, we don't know what to compare it to. So yeah. it might be super high. Yeah. Um, so go ahead and check it out if you want a game to play with uh, your loved ones, or if you just want a game to play, you know, Solo, like I said, you can play it with, by yourself too, which I think is pretty cool. If you like what you saw, go ahead and uh, like our video and subscribe to our channel. That way you can see more reviews of the different legendary uh, games going on that we have. And also check out the reviews and scores for all of the Marvel movies. If you're into the Marvel movies, which hopefully you are because you're you know checking out a Marvel board game. So I would think you like the Marvel movies, the MCU movies. Uh, go ahead and check those out as well and so you can see our different scores and, you know, arguing about... What points should go where? I'm always right. She is. She is always right. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks for checking it out, and we'll see you next time.